sounds like you were thinking like I own you know whatever happens for Threads Web, and that led you to do all these things. I really do believe in strong ownership, meaning if I take on a problem space, or if I take on a product, or a launch, or a feature, or whatever size you have, and I am the owner of that feature, product, whatever, I need to own that outcome as an engineer. So I need to make sure, come what may, that this is going to be successful. And I think there's, there's many things that you can think through that could happen to make the project not be successful, and you want to go ahead and, and get ahead of those. Talk about Threads Web, for example, think about the initial launch, right? Like what, what are the possible failure modes in which launch day just becomes a, a clowny event and everything that can possibly go wrong goes wrong. Like what, what are those? And then you try to work backwards from them and you try to prevent. It. Sounds like you were thinking like I own, you know, whatever happens for Threads Web and that led you to do all these things. Yeah, that's right. Um, but maybe what we should also talk about is that while I was ultimately accountable for delivering Threads Web, because I was the directly responsible individual, you know, the DRI yeah, that right. we always talk about, it didn't mean that I had to do it all by myself. That would have been impossible. Right. So this is when you get into being a senior engineer who works with other engineers. Even as a coding machine, like obviously you need to work with, with other people. I, I couldn't have done this by myself in, in any way.